And now it's time for the Eliminator RC Tip of the Week. Hi, I'm Ryan from Eliminator RC. This week's tech tip is going to be binding. If you're used to a crystal radio system, you know that a crystal is what connects the radio to the receiver. With 2.4, there's no more of that. What you have is a radio that talks to the receiver through a bind. Once it's got bind, they link together and they're good to go. Sometimes your remote will lose binder through receiver because the receiver doesn't have power for a long period of time. Please refer back to your radio instructions as for how to bind your radio to its receiver. Sometimes there's buttons you have to press or a plug you have to use like on our spectrum system here. With a spectrum system, they ground out the two jumpers on the end. You can always make your own plug out of an old servo lead and you just have to make sure the two outside ports are connected together. We're gonna go ahead and use the actual spectrum plug here the bind plug goes into the bind spot on the receiver. Then you plug the car in. Once the light is flashing on the receiver, it is ready to be bound, waiting for the signal from the radio. Once your receiver is in bind mode, you'll have to select bind mode on your remote. On the DX3R Pro here, we gotta go into the menu. And it'll actually have a bind section. You go down to bind, click it, and there you go. We're now bound. The light's solid, you can hear the steering servos working, and I'm sure we have throttle. Once that's done, you immediately unplug the bind plug because if you go ahead and turn your receiver off and turn it back on with that bind plug in it, it'll erase your bind and you'll have to redo it over again. Now that you're all bound up, you should be ready to race.